Let's go ahead and get to a live picture of our forecast. 84 degrees right now actually looks pretty nice. Look at that from the airport. Those clouds kind of look like they're painted on the sky. But let's go ahead and talk about temperatures because that's where we're really going to stress as we head in not to only today but the next few days that you need to stay hydrated because it's going to be hot and it's going to be humid. 85 degrees right now in Durham, 87 in Siler City. You're in the low 80s around Sanford, Lillington checking in at 84 and Fayetteville reporting 88. But remember, it's going to get hotter. The humidity is back and once you combine the two, it makes it pretty pretty uncomfortable outside. It already feels like 96 right now in Fayetteville. That heat index at 90 here in Raleigh, 91 in Durham. As we head into the afternoon, it's only going to get worse. So please stay hydrated over the next few days. Here's your hour by hour forecast. Actual high will be close to 90 this afternoon. Small chance for a shower or storm. We're back to 88 at 6 o'clock, eventually back to 80 by 9. And then we head into tomorrow morning. We're going to be dry. Mix of sun and clouds to start off our morning. We should be right around 71 by 6 a.m. So here's your satellite radar composite and you can see we're all on the dry side but we haven't been that way all morning long. We've seen that isolated shower or two mainly in areas south and east of Wake County. We actually have a stationary front hanging right overhead. Show you that in a moment and that's why we're seeing that chance for showers but as Beershaw and I were talking earlier we had those tornado warnings across parts of the Outer Banks and you can see some of these storms really just kind of sitting right offshore there. They had water spouts that were actually moving on land turning into tornadoes there. So some rotation in those storms, certainly uh, some scary scenes and there's lots of water spout pictures as you can see on Twitter and social media throughout the morning. If you're interested in seeing those as well, check out my Twitter page. But for today, here's that stationary front I was talking about. That's going to hang around eventually kind of weakening and falling apart tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. This area of high pressure still going to be around typical July weather, hot, humid, chance for a few storms. So just keep the umbrella nearby mainly throughout the afternoon. So here we are at one o'clock today. Isolated showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder and some lightning. We head towards five o'clock that drive home. The best chance really looks like it could gravitate towards the 95 quarter down around the Santos. Sun sets, all the rain should taper off. Midnight we're dry and then we're dry as we head into our Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, isolated storms could develop for us. Keep in mind though, yes, there's chance for showers and storms each and every day, but I do not expect it to be a washout and I don't think anyone sitting at home will see those showers or storms every day, but they'll be very isolated in nature. Now, how comfortable will it be? This is not necessarily some good news for us. We're in the muggy category today and tomorrow. Dew points in the upper 60s to near 70. And those dew point temperatures are going to climb a bit for us as we head into our Wednesday. So taking a tour now of our highs for this afternoon. 91 in Sanford, Fort Bragg and Fayetteville. 90 in Lillington. We're off to the 95 quarter upper 80s in Roanoke Rapids, Rocky Mountain, Wilson. Remember, you're going to see a little more cloud cover here. And then around the triangle, 89 in Durham and Chapel Hill. 90 in Raleigh. 90 later today in Cary as well. Tonight, pretty dry, staying mild, a low near 71. And then here's a look at the next few days. Those small shower and storm chances for Tuesday and Wednesday. Certainly looks like Wednesday is going to be the hottest day of the week. We're still in the low 90s Thursday, Friday. Best chance for a shower or storm will arrive Friday afternoon. And it does look like the sunset of weather is going to stick around for the upcoming weekend.